I was born December 26th, 1928, under a star in a barn. There was only animals around. So you're Jesus. I hope you're not, I hope you're not getting this. Uh, my name's Gil McHugh. I consider myself an artist. I have done oil paintings and I did acrylics. My real talent is illustrator, professional cartoonist, drawing, pen and ink. I love it. Covered all rungs of the ladder. As a matter of fact, I'm a member of the National Cartoonist Society. I've written this in my book. Most artists, they know they groove. Everybody has a talent, you just gotta find your niche. A lot of people ask me, how many paintings have you ever sold? Thousands. Every state in the union has got some of my artwork. I used to use the expression, do you see something you like? Make me an offer. I woke up one morning and I noticed the light shining on a pair of slippers that were on, was under the bed. And I was fascinated with it, the way the light was hitting the slippers. I got myself a pencil and a paper, and I did a sketch of it. My brother looked at it and he said, hey, they're my slippers. I said, well, if you want to buy it from me, I'll be happy to sell it to you. So he took a dime out of his pocket and he said, here, I'll take it. And my father said, you know, you're one heck of a good artist. I know that's your first sale, but don't think you're gonna make a living as an artist because that's a dead end. Of course, that was during a time of the Depression when a quarter was worth something. I was only seven years old, and that opened the door for me. When I was in high school, I started doing cartooning, and uh, then I got more involved in, it, in the Navy. I had gone to uh, art school, and I majored in art, but I really got into the arts full-fledged when I did my first uh, art show, and uh, there were oil paintings. So I started to travel, and then I started going to Connecticut, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, New York, all the way to San Diego. I remember the Atlantic City show, it cost a lot of money. It went down and it rained the whole weekend. If you have any interest in the field of arts, marry Rich. I came home from the Navy for a week, one week, and my wife was sitting in this ice cream parlor with a girlfriend, one of the best looking gals in high school. So I walked over and I said to her, is this seat taken? And I sat down in the seat right next to her. And she looked at me and she said, well, now it is. Who are you? And uh, I said, you know, I can't take my eyes off of you. And the bing, the bang, bada boom. That was it. So the next thing you know, we got married and we had twins and we did modeling together and my kids are even in the modeling business as well. That's how it all began. She was top model by that time. She was on Jackie Gleason's show. I made mean, a number of shows regularly. I even walked into Pala uh, in the casino. I stepped on the elevator and there was this picture. <laughs> My wife and I really hit it off because she was an artist as well. And she loved to draw and we used to go out and pick up things in the woods and bring them home and leaves and paint them. She loved flowers. She painted a lot of flowers. And I looked out in the backyard and I saw the hummingbirds coming in. And I did a sketch of it. And I brought the sketch to them. They looked at it. Graves said, okay, we'll do it. So every time I go out there and I look at it, I think of her. People say, ask me how old you are. I say, how many keys on a piano? So, as a matter of fact, I'll be 89 this year. And then I'll be 90. And I'll think, how did I ever live this long? And I don't care how bad I feel, I, I managed to get up and go. It's a love of art. It's all worthwhile. Makes my day. <laughs>